Perhaps one of the most iconic kicks you're going to see in the art of Muay Thai is going to be the rear kick. Uh, it is a very powerful kick, a very devastating kick, and it can be thrown at a lot of different levels, the leg, the body, or the head, and we're going to show it to you right now. Coach? Okay, so here, I'm in my good orthodox Muay Thai stance. All right, I'm going to go ahead and kick. Now, I said that we can kick any level, but I'm going to go ahead for demonstration purposes to kick the body. So I'm in, and I go ahead and I throw my kick. Okay, I'm in, and I throw my kick. And I throw my kick. I'm going to switch sides. Coach Nell being a great partner, offering up his ribs for me to kick. And I'm going to kick very gently. So I'm in here, I step, and I kick. Okay? And I step, and I kick. Okay, so let's break this down to some points of performance. There's a lot of moving parts in here, but we can break them down to some simplistic uh, uh, elements. Okay, one, I want to make sure I step with my lead foot out at a 45 degree angle. Okay? As I do this, I open up my foot. So instead of just stepping straight forward, because my foot is pointed towards the target, I'm going to step at a 45 degree angle. This allows me to open up my hips and be able to swing my hips and generate good power. Okay? As I kick and I initiate my movement and attack, I want to go ahead and try to rotate, pivot on the ball of my foot so that my heel faces my opponent. In doing this, I'm allow, allowing myself to really, really maximize power and swing through the target. So I step and I pivot. Now the second element is I want to make sure that I hit with the shin, okay? As opposed to the instep. You see a lot of classic martial arts. In classical martial arts, we use a lot of like um, uh, instep type of actions and, and, and extension of our knee. We're going to do the opposite here. We're going to keep the knee slightly bent and we're going to use the shin as the uh, surface for striking. Okay, so I step and I kick. At an optimum range and optimum uh, power for kick, my leg is going to be slightly bent as opposed to straightening out and getting extension here. So I kick. Boom. So I want to relax my leg and I'm going to use my leg like a baseball bat. I step, I hit it, I hit with the shin and my knee is slightly bent. If I were to miss, if you were to step back, perhaps my leg will straighten and allow me to carry myself all the way around. But really, in optimum range, optimum power, my leg is going to still be slightly bent. Okay? And you also notice that the shin is not directly in the middle of the leg, as it is tilted kind of towards the inside. This is where the sharpness is going to be, and this is where you want to use uh, the inside of the shin, or the sharpness of the shin, to make contact with his ribs. Now the last thing I want you to do when you throw in the kick is three points of cover. Shoulder up, chin down, hand up. The worst enemy of the rear leg kick is going to be his straight right hand. So boom, I'm going to get hit. So I want to make sure that I cover up at all times. Okay, I kick and I kick. Okay, so I'm able to kick him. Now, in using my shin, I do give up a little bit of range. That is the, that is the disadvantage of this kick. But I am giving up a little bit of range for more power and uh, more uh, density of the strike. So I want to make sure that I stay covered. My shoulder up, my chin down, and my hand up. Okay, just like this. Now in addition to staying covered, what I'm doing with my hand is also I'm throwing it downward. Okay, allowing me to turn my body. I'm getting this rotation, a counter rotation, my upper body going this way, and my legs and my hips going the other way, so that I'm getting this type of uh, clubbing type of action. Enjoying the content? Like, subscribe, and share. Check out the description below to try Muay Thai University for seven days free. Get tools to grow your martial arts school at blackbeltbusinessunion.com.